Hi everybody. I got a lot of questions about how I paint with the Crayola markers. So I'm gonna go over it a little more in depth. So go look around your house. If you have kids, you have tons of these. I found like 50 of them laying around my house from the grandkids. Also these, honestly, any water-based marker will work. Um, the Crayolas, I love them. They're cheap, they're everywhere. I have some if you need some. We sell them on our craft shop, but that's not why I'm making the video. Anyway, y'all know you've got these laying around the house. Okay, then I used my little um, water brush. All it is is a brush with a reservoir to hold water. You could just use a plain old brush dipped in water, same thing. I just really like this because it's convenient. Um, so here we go. Let's do a leaf. I'm just dusting dogs in the background, sorry. They're bored too. Light green, dark green. So let's start with this leaf here. We'll just... I'm like in the middle, I like to go a little higher, like a real leaf. Okay, and we'll go to the light green. And when I'm doing this, I'm blending them together. Even while I'm just working the two. That way you get that nice middle color. Then you just take your water brush or a paintbrush dipped in water. Start working that around. And just kind of pull that color out. It's easier to pull towards yourself, but since I'm trying to do this on camera, it's a little awkward. But it won't be when you do it because you can turn your paper whatever way you want. Just kind of play with it. That's the fun part. Then if you wanted a little highlight, you could blot it. You could even um, clean your brush out and scrub more off. See how that left a little highlight. I think I want a little more dark down here. So I'll just put some more dark down there. But it really gives you that pretty um, watercolor look. Oops, wrong color. <laughs> oh no, yeah. I thought that was dark pink, that's dark brown. We'll just cover it up, it'll be fine. Perfectly imperfect. That's what art's all about. Some of my biggest mistakes turned into great success, so the whole thing is not to be stressed and have fun. I taught painting for years and I couldn't believe how many people would say that you can't learn to paint. You either born knowing how to paint or you can't paint. And that's just blatantly not true. You can learn a lot. So, because I accidentally put that dark brown in, we got a whole different color. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. Blotted a little bit. Maybe a little highlight, maybe. So, yeah, Crayola markers. Go find them around your house. Have fun with them. Have fun with the kids. Especially if you have like teenagers, this would be right up their alley. 